So at first glance, you might think that your solar system will produce as much as is on your proposal. But this might actually not be the case. In truth, a solar system has two sizes. There's the sum total of all the panels on the roof, PV array size, and then there's the total of the inverter capacity, or in some cases, the microinverter sum capacity. It's way better to oversize the panels to the inverter or microinverters as much as possible. And if you don't have a battery at your home, the amount we can oversize is dividing the inverter capacity by 0.75. That's why we colloquially say a third bigger. So say you had eight kilowatts worth of panels on your roof, we would pair that with a six kilowatt inverter if you didn't have a battery. So that's to say, if all of those panels are in full sunlight, the array would be able to produce eight kilowatts and your inverter is gonna pull six kilowatts down from there. It's not realistic that your system is gonna be getting all eight kilowatts all the time because in real life, a cloud will be passing over a lot of the time, a little bird might decide that's a good place to sit, you might have a chimney or an aerial that affects just a little section of the system for a little bit of the day. The other thing to keep in mind is that over time, your panels will degrade a little bit. But even when your panels start to slow down, your inverter is still gonna be working as hard as it possibly can at six kilowatts. Annually or seasonally, your production is gonna fluctuate a lot. You're gonna probably be producing heaps of extra power in the summer, but it might not be as much as you'd like in the winter. So again, oversizing the system, optimizing how much power we can get out of the array to the inverter size as much as we possibly can is so important to giving you as much benefit in the winter as possible. Something like a Fronius or an Enphase microinverter system, it's really clever and it's really looking at what the best benefit it can give you for the longest amount of time is by balancing. If I can't send any extra to the grid, well then I'm only gonna work as hard as will benefit the house and as much export as I can send. A really big reason that we oversize panels to inverters is because panels are a lot cheaper than they used to be. The STCs, the government rebate, scales up to the size of the panels, not the size of the inverter. It's financially putting people way in front to oversize those panels to the inverter. More panels equals more rebate equals way more affordable for the homeowner. Oversizing the panels is the best way to make sure your inverter is giving you as much power as possible.